Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm super excited to review the first ever Room 6 Rocks Summer Showcase at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara. This was my thank you to five acts that have been on the channel, as well as a massive thank you to viewers, Patreon patrons, online store customers, and subscribers like you. Without all of you, I wouldn't have a channel, so thanks! Speaking of which, my analytics tell me that over 60% of you watching aren't subscribed yet. It's really the best way to help support the channel right now. So feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks! Like almost every live show I've been part of, this one had some twists and turns. So strap in, it's time to take a trip through time! This showcase was the culmination of something I've been promising for over three years. So it was with some trepidation and excitement that I got things rolling with a couple of songs of my own before the first guest act took the stage. If you'd like to see my questionable antics, check out the live stream after watching this video. I'll put a link in the description. Unfortunately, the live stream cut out around about an hour due to my phone overheating. Thanks, Summer. Oh, did I mention it was freaking hot? Because it was. Like, a lot. While Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara is an awesome live music venue with amazing staff and food, it is an outdoor stage in Vegas, which has its own intrinsic issues. That being said, the crowd that was present both inside and outside of the shop was dedicated and stayed for pretty much the whole show, which was awesome. Now then, on with the review! Once I broke the ice with a couple of my own original tunes, it was time for the Room 6 alumni to take the stage. Ah, let me speak with you. What are you smelling? These aren't my bubbles. Look at the pipes. Starting things off was Room 6 interview guest number 6, Mark Antares. Formerly known as Sodacon, Mark's also a producer and songwriter whose music blends multiple genres with his own brand of space rock. As the audience settled into their seats, Mark took everyone on a musical journey, utilizing effects to start the show off great. It was really nice to hear his music again, and a nice way to kick things off. Jumping ahead in the Room 6 time stream, we retreated to Room 6 interview guest number 49, AJ Fasulo from Wyatt and the Ashes. AJ was actually a last minute replacement for Room 6 guest number 2, Brian Gibson, who had to cancel due to unforeseen circumstances. And AJ did an exemplary job stepping in. Combining passionate playing with powerful and evocative lyrics, AJ's set took the torch that Mark Antares lit and threw it in a bucket of gasoline. The whole vibe of the show got even better, and I'm so happy he was able to fill in. Thanks, AJ. The next stop on this musical whirlwind was Room 6 guest number 7, Kella T of Dead Money and Kella Bobella fame. Rocking the first electric guitar of the night, Kella proceeded to regale all of us with songs about past loves and future hopes, with vocals that fused lyrical melodies with just the right amount of raspy sensuality. As usual, she left everyone wanting more. The next stop on this trip down memory lane would see a crossing of the streams with Room 6 guests number 11 and 62, Joey Hines and Mandolin, one half of the maybe four. Did you get all that? Joey's a repeat offender on this channel, having been interviewed twice already, and I've reviewed his music multiple times as well. Just like his music, Joey is best described as quirky, yet seriously written and massively talented. Mandolin has also been on the channel, and the same could be said about her. She provided a solid backbeat with her drum and some added depth courtesy of her backup vocals. I can't wait to get the whole band on the show soon. Finishing out the night were Room 6 guests number 4, Crimson Riot. If the previous acts had consecutively turned things up throughout the night, Crimson Riot cranked the knob to 11, lit it on fire, then launched it into space. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Known for bombastic sets that showcase clever wordplay with solid pop punk, this trio came out guns blazing and took no prisoners. If you were watching the live stream before it cut out, you have my sincere apologies for missing out on this. I was so happy everyone could perform 
but I was positively giddy to have Crimson Riot headline my showcase. You owe it to yourself to check them out live if you get the chance. Overall, the first ever Room 6 Rocks Summer Showcase at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara went off pretty well, and I can't express my gratitude to everyone involved enough. I've put their social media handles down in the description, and you can check it out. Check out their interviews, check out their performances, the reviews, all of it, here in Room 6, using the interviews playlist on the channel. I'm hoping to do two of these a year, the showcase, working my way chronologically through past interview guests. So subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you were there, I hope you enjoyed the showcase. Or if you were on the live stream, I hope you enjoyed the brief glimpse you got into it. Uh, once again, sorry it cut out like that. Um, now I know better for the, for the future. In the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, if you want to be part of future showcases, hit me up using my email address down in the description or click the Room 6 social media link down there. You can find all ways to contact me. You can also find room6.shop, the online store for merch. You can also find ways to uh, be a Patreon patron and get patron-only content. And also, I've got a couple CDs of my own out for sale. Hey, it all helps. It all goes to support the channel and support the local scene with ways like showcases. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like that, please click up here, and if you'd like to subscribe, it really would make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing. I remembered. And we'll see you next time on Room 6.